Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another great show. It's a dental show. We are live coming to you, to your home, to your office, to your studio, wherever it is that you are. Um, I must say a big thank you to World Remit. You can join over 5.7 million people around the globe who are sending back money back home to the continent. So make sure that you join that. They are the better way to send money. Go to www.worldremit.org. Com. Hello, how is everybody doing? Um, I hope you're all well. It's what, Tuesday evening, and um, tonight we're talking about another lockdown and how it's affecting businesses. Um, I've got Christine Ade, who's just started a, a card business, um, and I want to find out from her how it's affecting her business-wise. Is it good? Is it bad? Um, how is another lockdown affecting family Christmas like we're supposed to be together we're supposed to be doing things um and you know um according to the UK we are not supposed to be doing anything and so it's very it's a very very difficult time for everybody um and so the conversation is really to talk to you guys and see how you feel about it um if anybody's in the UK and even if you're in Ghana I mean we still have COVID here right still COVID is around and um, how is it affecting your business? How is it affecting you personally, your mental health, everything? Um, today's discussion is going to be about that. But before we go, I just want to say, guys, if you haven't already purchased Princess Aria Shea Butter, you need to go out there and purchase. Go to www.ariasheabutter.com and get one as well. Um, a big thank you to Vesta London Beauty for her lip glaze. Um, thank you so much for supporting. Uh, her website is here. Make sure that you go online and you support black businesses. We must do that. And for the best shit on the whole wide world, as I keep telling you guys, prodigyfoodsco.com. Go on there, get one, buy one, give me feedback, because I know the feedback's gonna be good. And then this is Princess Aria's website. Make sure you go on there and um, buy some shea butter for someone in, in, in I don't know, Europe, U USA, wherever it is, um, and let them enjoy that. We've got sapo, we've got black soap. Make sure you go on there and do that. Let me see where you guys, hi, Sakes, how are you? Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you share your page as well um, so we can get a lot more people watching tonight's interview so let me bring on chrissy hey chrissy chris hi guys how are you hi t how are you love i'm surviving i'm good <laughs> <laughs> you're surviving i, I like that word I like I how do you yeah. feel about yet another lockdown in the uk like how does it make you feel i mean this year, 2020, has been a very different type of year. And so I just want to kind of talk to you about how does it feel? How does 2020 feel to you? Oh, I'm trying to not say it's been like a wasted year. Um, but it feels like the year has just gone so quickly. And it feels like one of those movies, you know, one of those zombie movies, like Apocalypse movies mm. where people are wearing face masks like scared of each other it very much feels like that waiting for a vaccine that no one understands do you know what i mean but um, yeah. yeah i think like all londoners i am completely frustrated it's you know especially around this time we want to be with family we want to be able to travel and we just can't we're stuck but you know I guess for the greater good, who knows? I'm not going to share any conspiracies, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's been it's been a crazy year. It has, but don't you think that I'm supposed to get used to it because it's been kind of nearly a full year when you think about it. it started probably in February, March for most of us, but yeah, should we be used to it like with this COVID now? I think it's the back and forth. One minute you're allowed out, one minute you can go out, come in, go in, come out. 
It's I think it's just that in and out business that people are frustrated what you can do. They're never quite clear. Um, and especially for small businesses, it's a real frustration. You know, I literally just made my hair dresser appointment on Saturday. And while we were in the um, in the shop, we got the news from Mr. Boris that we it's we're back to tier four, this tier four business. And so they had to close again and they were literally calling customers saying we can't, we're not opening next week. So there you go. So that means, you know, and I'm glad you touched on the uncertainty because we don't know what is happening tomorrow. We don't know what Boris is going to say. We don't know what another government's, you're, we're just like kind of lingering in this limbo where yes. we just don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Um, and does that scare you? Does that make you worry about the unknown? Um, yes and no. Um, I think when you introduced me, you, you mentioned that I've started my business and I actually started AO Cards in the kind of first lockdown. I, I took that opportunity, I think like many people did, took the opportunity to start a business um, because we had time, we didn't know what was happening and it was the uncertainty that do we have a job at the end of the day, do we need to bring in more income, so I think for different people it brings different things and I know particularly for entrepreneurs it's an opportunity for them to kind of um, find a gap um, be creative as well. I definitely think it's that time. But yeah, it is scary. It's un very uncertain times, but I think people are still trying to be creative and find, you know, that positiveness within this time. And, you, you know, you mentioned about starting your card business. Was this something that you had put on the back burner for a long time and COVID just gave you that opportunity to actually say, you know what, let me concentrate on doing this and bring this to life. Um, do you know what? I've always been um, a lover of greeting cards. Um, sorry, I've got someone in the background. I'll deal with them later. <laughs> Don't um, worry. I, you know, I love greeting cards. And it, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur, you know, do something, find a business where I could find another kind of source of income. And because people were not, um, you know, going to the shop necessarily because all the shops were closed, I thought this was an opportunity to say, um, you know, to kind of explore that area. And I did, and I created AO Cards. And it was just at the back burner of that, really. So how did the name came up, come about? Where, you know, where did you get the name Aya Cards from? Okay, so Aya Cards is basically, if I remember correctly, it means, you know, um, pers perseverance, I believe it was. And that was about me. I think endurance and perseverance. Um, that's what it brought to me. And it was actually, I have... A design a body tattoo um that also <laughs> embodies you know <laughs> one tattoo um, see, or several tattoos just the one, see, just the one um that means endurance and i think during this time and you know stuff that i'm going through it was about endurance it was de definitely about that and i'm Ghanaian, obviously so i really wanted to pick something that represented my culture definitely okay. And and how was the how was the journey um, going so far in terms of during COVID, setting up your business and trying to to sell your cards? How how is that going? Um, it has been like I've been overwhelmed, um, really overwhelmed with the success, especially because it was Christmas. I made sure that I had time to you know set up for Christmas and. Um, it's been really exciting. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. One thing I have definitely learned is, you know, you have to persevere and you need to definitely have some stamina. And, you know, there's been times when I thought, oh my gosh, am I 
I'm going to sell everything. And, you know, I've had to come to that point where I've gone, even if I don't sell anything, what I've sold is great. And it's a start, like I started in October. So I'm really grateful. So everybody who has visited a cards, thank you, who has purchased cards. Let me just, can I show, can I plug, plug the, can I plug? Yeah, the, yeah, no, bring the oh, cards, yeah. 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 As well. so Christmas, our Christmas collection, that, so that's nearly all Lovely. done now. So, yeah, so it was about representation for me. Um, you know, we, we always talk about as a community that there's not enough representation in greeting cards. And so, yeah, this is my opportunity to work with some really great people. And yeah, here they are. Love it. But do you, do you talk about Black Lives Matter, Black Business Matter? Are Black people really supporting each other when it comes to black businesses and you know us kind of coming together working together and trying to promote each other is that really happening okay so you know the other part of me works as a co-host for the business mix so we are always supporting black businesses and do you know i think through my journey with air cards i have seen um sorry I have seen so many people um, supporting me. Um, you've seen from um, Black Pound Day, people really going out to support one another. So I think there's been an expansion of this and people are really, you know, whether it be because of Black Lives Matter, people are really getting behind black businesses and really, you know, supporting the cause of black businesses that we do really need to keep that pound within our community we really do need to support ourselves and i think we're doing it even on facebook all these platforms you're seeing that um people are asking where can i buy black gifts you know so i really do think we're all supporting each other is it going to last do you think it's something that's going to last or is it a moment of you know us kind of feeling sorry for what has happened to black people or do you, do you think this is going to be a long-term thing i really hope it's not a fad i hope that this is something that's going to be ingrained in our community um i definitely see you know um it going from strength to strength so I don't believe it's going anywhere. I really don't. I, I believe it's here to stay and supporting each other will continue, definitely. But that may be me just being positive, but I'm hoping that's that's the case. Okay. And okay. and so, you know, when, when you had your first sale of somebody yes. that you don't know buying your cards, how was that yes. feeling like? Do you know, I had three orders in a row when I first started. Wow. And I just had to get on my knee. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I was so excited. I told my family, like, I've had three cards. Someone's purchased three cards. I've been, it's been exciting. And I had an international sale in America. That just topped it off. I hope it got to them in time, but I was, that blew me away. That blew me away. So, yes. So you, you had some sales from international um, buyers and for you, what, I mean, how did that really make you feel? What did it mean to you? Not just to have somebody in the UK buy your product, but the fact that, you know, you had international buyers. I, I it made me feel, you know, it, all the stress, the pain, calling the designer constantly, it was worth it because people saw my card and thought these are really nice, these are special, um, especially abroad. Um, so it really did warm my heart. It, um, you know, when you get things like that, it's really nice getting, you know, your friends and your family and others to join. But when it gets to that level, you're like, I'm really going to, kick it up a notch and that's what i plan mm -hmm. to do kick it up a notch do some more designs you know get out there a bit more 
Definitely. And how, how how long did it take to do designs to, to to make it perfect the way you wanted it? Do you know me, right? <laughs> I'm I, I'm like oh my gosh, it was painful. Bless the designers that worked with me. Um, they really supported me. So we started in October, and it was getting so close to crunch time. Um, <laughs> so it did take me a month and a bit to get it exactly how I wanted it. Um, and yeah, December, we were able to get these out. So yeah, I'm really grateful, really grateful. So how many different designs have you made so far? So I've got um, a birthday, we've got two birthday ranges. We have um, some, um, baby ranges, so welcome to the world, congratulations. And then we've got these Christmas cards. So once um, October came, I knew there would be a rush for Christmas. So I really focused on the Christmas range. Um, and then we've got obviously Valentine's Day coming. So that's my next focus, making sure all everyone's loved one gets a, a heart and loving cards. Beautiful, beautiful. So back to COVID, 2021. Are we supposed to get excited about 2021? Are we, like, what are we supposed to do as, as you know, as people that are just wanting to go back to normality? Like, what is the new normal? Like, what are we looking at for 2021? It's weird. I'm just seeing someone's written in the comments, lockdown is making me stressed. And I think everyone it's making everyone stressed it's making people stressed at work because to be honest i'm one of those people working from home and the extra pressure is additional you know you're getting although you think oh i'm working from home it's a lot so people are getting stressed i think business side i think people realize that you can work from home we will probably see less businesses in the city I don't think you need a building. Um, mm. I think recently in the news, there's plans to look at how we can home homeless people in these buildings that we can't, people can't pay rent for. So we're going to see less of, we're going to see more of that. We're going to see, this is what I believe is that we're going to see more of these buildings not there because we don't necessarily need them. They're expensive. They're in the centre of London. Do we actually need them? Um, and I think for bosses and entrepreneurs where there's going to be more, definitely more agile working, people are going to be working from anywhere, everywhere, um, because they can. You don't need to be in one seat. You can work anywhere, definitely. Mm. So co-working spaces are going to be more, I think, going to be more useful if we can get them up and running, definitely. So your 2021, what, what does it look like for you? Um, I'm really, really praying that I can get to Ghana. I'm dying to get to Ghana, get to Ghana, travel a bit more, and um, expand the card range. Definitely. Um, I don't know if you know. Um, oh, I think the name's gone out of my head. Um, there's a black card um, company. Why can't I remember it? I've gone into Waitrose and um, not Waitrose, Waterstone, sorry, Waterstone. Oh, wow. wow. And, you know, I've reached out. I want to be able to reach out to people like her and, you know, get that kind of mentorship as well. So it's definitely to build up the business as always, you know, see family, hopefully, you know. We, we realise how much family means to us um, while we're in lockdown. But definitely, definitely coming to Ghana. Ghana, I'm coming. 2021. We're waiting for you. We're waiting for you. <laughs> right. P says, I right, know someone who got the vaccine last week in the US, and she said she is required to wear a mask for six to 12 months. Huh? Can we talk about vaccine, please? Like, who? <laughs> what? I've heard so much about these vaccines. I've heard that. If we don't soon, that they'll, it'll be mandatory for have the vaccine. Otherwise, you won't be able to travel. Our employees 
can say bye bye you're not coming into the office but for someone to have to wear a mask for 12 6 to 12 months and they've had the vaccine it doesn't make sense it makes no it makes none no sense no sense again mm -hmm. vaccine anyway i'm not going into the vaccine the whole vaccine <laughs> business no how do you feel about the vaccine do you think it's something that you would jump on board knowing that it's gonna cure you you can travel out um it's like maybe having a yellow fever before you come to africa or before you travel out how how does the vaccine <laughs> knowing that you have to have it oh gosh it's serious business i personally don't want anything to do with the vaccine yet i think it's so soon we don't know the side effects i don't know what's in it i think they're rushing then it's if it works great but i think i've watched too many movies i i i, yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's something not right it's um do i say it's the because even like, 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 like the uk has i don't know whether africa we're not testing a lot of people that's why we don't know how many people have really got it but i feel like the west is really like going hard on this covid whether it's we're overlooking it in africa or we are overthinking i don't know what it is but i feel like Something is not right somewhere, and I just can't seem to pinpoint. Okay, I can't pinpoint. You know, um, the president of Ghana made his address like was it on Sunday? Yeah. And we have on deaths of deaths, but we have really de low death rates in Ghana. Mm. In China, they've got no reoccurring cases, from what I've heard so what aren't we picking up here and there's no vaccine involved in any of these countries as far mm. as I, know. I probably will have to do more research no but not at the moment not at the moment there's no vaccine involved so by why force here why force in america this vaccine i i just don't get it and what's scary is that they're coming for our community i'm blatantly saying it they're coming for our community. They come for the blacks. <laughs> they're coming for the black people. They're they're saying we are um, front line. We're more prone to come and get your vaccine. And um, the, they're getting celebrities, black celebrities. They're getting preachers coming out to say, "Come and get this vaccine." We're not ready. Mm, 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 mm. Christina. QP says, me personally, I'm not getting the vaccine unless it's a must. She's staying well clear of the vaccine. I want to know how many of you that are watching this evening would actually take the vaccine. Let me hear from you guys. Um, main yes, man says, this virus is coming from Europe. Uh, and True love story says, I think I watch too many movies as well. <laughs> it feels like we're playing out a movie. That's what it feels like. And yeah, that's what it is coming to. I can't. Okia says, that's what I'm scared of. The vaccine being compulsory, especially when side effects are not clear. I don't know if any of you watched... Um, I think it was on CNN where this nurse in America was taking the vaccine yes. and um, she basically fainted, collapsed, whatever you want to call it. She was out of it. Um, and that was just like really, really scary, especially when they said, no, this thing is safe and blah, blah. live on television, the girl <laughs> collapsed. Live and then there was a story after that said, oh, she had underlying health issues. That's why she fainted. It's, no, she didn't look like somebody that had underlying <laughs> sickness. And she would have not <laughs> taken it if, if it, then there should have been like side effects that if you have underlying problems, don't take the vaccine. She wouldn't Jonathan, know, she she give it for her if she's got underlying, no, no, exactly. no. Especially as a nurse, she would know whether she has underlying whatever. Um, 
Okay, so I so want to get on to you, Dee. You've got a background in um, in medicine and, you know, you, um, your profession. Would you, if you had to take it, would you? Because that's what they want frontline people to take this. Okay, so I've okay. never taken the flu vaccine as a nurse or as a, as a normal oh, wow. person outside of nurse. Oh, yeah. No. And I've let, never let any of my children take it. Um, so, yeah? yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> For a minute, for a second, I forgot that I was on live. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> um, George Amiel says, I will wait till Boris takes the vaccine. Oh, and the Queen too. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you see there was a news clip where the mayor was taking the vaccine and they showed him that they had the vaccine? <laughs> they had the cap on. How embarrassing was that? Like that was just too much. The vaccine, yeah. So me, for me personally, 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 I know it's affecting a lot of people. I know it is definitely real of some sort, um, but I feel like, well, I've had so many tests because I've flown out a couple of times and I ain't got it. So, <laughs> because I remember even flying out to Italy, um, I had to do one from Ghana. I had to do one in the UK to Italy. I had to do one from Italy to Ghana. So that was like already like, and then one in Ghana when I arrived. So that's like six tests. And then recently when I traveled again from Ghana, I had to do one, UK I had to do one and back to Ghana I had to do one. So I definitely know that I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't need <laughs> any more injections in my life. Like I just don't need it. Um, so yeah, I, I hope that I don't, none of us, come to a point where we have to take it. Um, but we'll see what, what the world says. You know, nowadays we're not in control. No matter what we fight, um, if they've made their mind already, they've made their mind. Follow. And it's you know. really difficult, especially for businesses that have to, may have to enforce this, that you cannot come back to the office unless you've had a vaccine. What if the what if your employees don't want the vaccine? Do they work from home? Are you going to fight? What what other um, mm -hmm. ramifications of these things? You know, it's really difficult. Um, airlines, I see someone saying airlines are talking that you have to take this vaccine for um, international yeah. travel. Yeah. Like, how is that possible? And you know, again, how does that affect aviation? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, a number of people are really not wanting to take this vaccine. But if you say to them, if you don't have it, you can't travel, are we then going to have to second think our first, you know, our first thoughts and do it? Mm, 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 mm. It's a whole load to think about and it kind of weighs you down thinking about everything. And also whether your nieces are going to have to, like kids are going to have to have it um, because... I read, um, so from the UK, a friend of mine was, actually it was Ellen's, Ellen, one of the team members, um, niece was flying out. She's only five years old and they had to do a COVID test. Like, you don't really want your kids or your nephews to be doing that nose swab and whatever and whatever it is. It's horrible. Yeah, it's, just, it's horrible for an adult and to just think about, a child going through that, like however many, like if I was traveling with my children, look at each step of the way, how many times I have to do a COVID test, that a child has to go through that. Um, and these are the things that they're putting in place to kind of scare us and say, you know what, let me just get the injection. Yeah. Let me just get this injection. <laughs> my children have yeah. to go through this. You know, my family doesn't have to go through this. And these are the things that I think they're putting, they're putting down to kind of give that fear factor. And it's all, this is how it's all based on fear and that transcends from the top right to the bottom, like to us. We become, and you create a society that's fearful and we don't know how to live our life and it's it's not a nice way to live. That's what mm. I've heard. 
know. I think Main Man yeah. says, yeah, yeah. all that yeah. out of chaos. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, Again, oh, what's the what's that film I watched? Um, I've forgotten. But there was this movie that they spoke about. I forgot the name of the movie, but it actually spoke about COVID nineteen. Yeah. Oh, Did I you see that? Exactly what I couldn't watch it, but I know exactly the film. I think it begins with the C, and it's exactly what we're living through now. Yeah, exactly. and it's just so like, what is going on here? Like, how can this be so real? And even when um, Bill Gates spoke about it, I don't know if you watched his his um, his TED TEDx talk where he was actually talking about this is going to be, you know, this um, 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 similar to COVID. This is going to happen. And it's going to kill a lot of people. Blah 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 blah. And here we are, and it's COVID. Is this is a real opportunity for the pharmaceutical businesses? That's all I'm saying. Mm. And, uh, mm. 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 Even with the sanitizer, I think the companies have had the most boost, right? Is online platforms like this, StreamYard, Zoom, everything's online. Even like Facebook, I'm sure, picked up Instagram, everything, anything that's communicating, getting people to communicate more by, you know, FaceTime, by, you know, um, video has boosted. Yeah. Um, pharmaceuticals. Not to mention um, Amazon, like, Amazon, Amazon. Are laughing right now. They're laughing, laughing. Everybody was shopping on Amazon. And actually a lot of, you know, even like restaurants, takeaways, a lot of people were making money. McDonald's, even though they shut down their when they opened back up, people were just hungry for McDonald's and Burger King, remember? Because it's just like, you'd missed it so much, even though it was just like a two months closure or whatever, it was like- <laughs> I'm looking at you. Like you. I'm looking at you, D. <laughs> like Nando's not having, like, it was like your life had stopped. Yeah. And so their business boosted. Telecom, buying data. Like all of that was a big boost. And again, people like yourself, small businesses has been a boost because now you're just thinking outside the box and you're doing stuff. So I think that, you know, it's had its, oh, I think someone's put in. There's also a book that predicted it by Dean Kuntes called The Eyes of Darkness. Wow. Wow. Christina's wow. asking you, how long is the lockdown in the UK? We don't, we literally don't know. We, I think he said two, I think two, two weeks. January, isn't it? I think two um, January somewhere. Yeah, and then they're going to take it from there and see again. I, you mentioned restaurants and stuff, and I was having a conversation with my dad, you know, that this stop start. He was like, you were one of them. As soon as they said lockdown, everything's open. I was at the restaurant. Yes, I was. It, I was one of them. I I miss my friends. I miss socializing. So yes, I was one of them. But at the same time, the government was saying, yes, Wednesday, what was it? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can get 50% off. Of course I'm going out to eat. Of course. <laughs> So how do you think this um, COVID has really brought us together as family, as friends, like cherishing one another more during this COVID time and finding that actually family is so important right now? Absolutely. I Firstly, I'll bring it back to the cards. I find people are sending cards more. They, you know, you... We, we send texts and all that. And I think that's what really I love is that, that additional feeling of the physical touch of a card. People are making sure that they get, <laughs> um, get these cards sent. George, go away. Um, <laughs> um, but at the same time, you know, again, I bring my, my dad into this. We now video call on WhatsApp. I didn't necessarily do that because I would see him 
um, or just call. Every now, it's every now and again video call so I can see him. And I think most families are doing that, bringing their, their parents to the world of technology. Um, again, you said Zoom for work. My goodness, I'm on Teams, I'm on Zoom throughout <laughs> the day. Mm -hmm out the day and you know again it's like people miss each other in the office we miss yeah. being able to walk just walk to the next desk ask a simple question we now have to set up a teams meeting or a zoom meeting um but i think yeah i i think this time is making us really cherish our family and friends we're reaching out to them a bit more just to make sure everyone is okay and i think that's really important we really do because yeah. some people as yeah. i say are stressed they're not doing well i guess this time you could either although i'm social sometimes i really do like my own space but a mm. lot of people can become more introverts during this time and then when it's time to go out they're too scared they have anxiety to go out because they're they're fearful of what's going to happen because they've been in this bubble um or yeah, or you can get those people who just can't wait to get out after. But it's mental health, and this time um, it's really challenged. I was, I came on your show a few months back talking about how menopause and the effects of menopause affects mm. me. And one of the things I need is the gym. Wow. And wow. this don't wow. stop, stop, wow. stop. It really does affect me and it's really crazy that it does. And yes, I can walk, but it's winter now. I don't necessarily want to walk 10,000 steps to get those endorphins going. I'd rather go in the gym, one, speak to my instructor, speak to the people that I've made friends with in the gym. That time's really, really important to me. And I think as much as the government are trying to support us and that they forget those factors that many people in my situation people with mental health issues people with depression physical exercise is really important a important mm. aspect of their life and you know this time is very challenging in that we can't do what we need to do yeah absolutely, yeah, absolutely. are you kind of now used to working from home or do you still prefer being at home? girl i love being at home However, <laughs> um, you know, we, my workplace really good that they gave us an option to come into the office if we need to. Um, so I am definitely, you know, the one that likes, I want my time at home. I can do better work at home and I've adapted. But at the same time, when I need that kind of change of environment, I need a printer maybe, or I need to do additional work. It would be good to get into the office um so yes i am used to working from home what i do find again going back to mental health you know you can't leave work at work because work's in mm -hmm. your house mm -hmm. that, then it's a real challenge that i've had to you know adapt to making sure that i actually have lunch breaks go out take a deep breath come back in because sometimes it can be a lot in your house because you yeah. can't leave yeah. work in the office. It's a lot. Yeah. And also the screen time. The screen time. Do you think that, or is it the same, being at home and being at work? It's more. Screen time? It's definitely more. Um, unless I'm walking to the fridge or the loo, I'm constantly at my laptop. I'm at my computer. Um, so it's really important to have those breaks. And I speak to colleagues all the time saying i haven't i haven't left my desk i haven't gone out it's it's yeah it's really important it's really important and how are your nieces and nephews feeling about the lockdown and the time that you know maybe they're not seeing their auntie as often how how is it these girls so i think the first lockdown was really hard for them they didn't, they understood it, but they were like, we want to see you. Oh, I think when on the news, they must have heard something. They were like, why COVID? Why have they brought it over from China? I was like, where did you get that from? I was like, what? 
Um, but now they understand, like, especially now they miss their granddads because they can't go and see him. We would have spent Christmas with them. Um, so they're like, oh, we miss granddad, but we know it's COVID. Hopefully it'll be finished soon. So, you know, we speak all the time over the phone. They get to see me on um, WhatsApp and FaceTime. So, FaceTime. You know, they used, yeah, they get used to it. What do you think the biggest challenge has been um, with, with 2020 in general? What has been your biggest challenge? Um, what has been my biggest challenge? I think it's mindset. I think it's getting my, you know, my mindset. It's that, again, as you said, that back and forth, back and forth, not being stable. I think that's mm. been the biggest challenge. And um, for me in 2020, um, you know, it's not what I planned. It's not what I planned at all. Um, can you see? Like, <laughs> oh, don't I, worry. When I was when the DJ was doing to me, you were laughing. Yeah, you keep on. I was laughing. <laughs> but now it's my turn. Um, yeah. yeah, I think that's been the biggest challenge, and you know, being positive. Being positive in this time is a real challenge, real challenge, but we mm. try. Yeah. Um, True Life says mental health is very serious. My son's friend himself, my son's friend himself during, himself, the, first during the first lockdown. Please check on each other. Talk to the family, please. Yeah, no, I think it's really, really important that we keep in touch and not just, we're just so used to WhatsApp and texting, right? That we're actually not picking up the phone to hear people's voices. I know. With yeah. a text message, you don't really know the emotions that's going that somebody's going through. So I think you're absolutely right. Let's pick up the phone. Let's make more phone calls than, you know, seeing people on Instagram and Facebook where you know, it's not the true story. Um, no one's really posting how they're feeling um really um on social media it's all kind of positive stuff that people are putting out there but a lot of people are going through through stuff oh, okay so he killed himself okay that oh, is gosh. really so the first wow really sorry to hear that true life stories um but yeah covid is it's done a lot of bad and it's done a lot of it good for other people you know the first lockdown i i don't know what happened to me i have a drinks cabinet like alcohol the way i was i was eating drinking eating drinking eating i and it's not like and then i ran up like what what am i doing what on earth mm. and then you get people that go do you know what have a drink we're in covid times but you know there's times when you can go overboard and i yeah. think you have to learn from all the times that you go through lockdown this time that drinks cabinet is fafa. Fa 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 fa. Everything <laughs> done. Know, Everything done. It's oh a lot. I've, I haven't touched it. I've been really good. You haven't, haven't touched it. it. Okay. I haven't touched it. It, it, wow. I think it was a shock for me the first time. Like how much I was like, this, this run was full like a wow. week ago. Wow. <laughs> it's not that oh, wow. so yeah no it's definitely an eye opener it's definitely absolutely. Absolutely. true life said he was only 20 wow. years old. heartbreaking that is absolutely heartbreaking may his soul rest in peace i'm Amen. so so sorry to hear this, but, um we're, we're just praying i mean we're just praying that 2020 will bring something new but it looks like we're still going to have this thing around for a little while um it's actually not happening anymore it's not i think we have to come to terms with it's not going anywhere it's a virus and i know people keep comparing it to the flu like the flu is a virus there's we have viruses it's going to be around we as society need to learn how to cope and continue life with it around. I think that's all we can do. That's all we can do. That is all we can do. France is still on lockdown because of X mass and the rules and regulations has gone down for citizens. Okay. 
that's good news. That's good news. Are you able to spend time with your family? Because I know in the UK, I think he said, what, no more than two people? Something ridiculous like that. Like, you can't get three people mixing and for one day only, Christmas day only. Oh, my God. And you know that's not going to happen. You know that's not going to happen. So, again, with lockdown, I think people forget singles and people living by themselves. We focus on the elderly, the yeah, people who live by themselves, who um, are either single or don't have family. And how are they surviving? How can you... Um, I couldn't have not been with my family or part of my family for Christmas. Mm. As much as I try and run from them most of the time, I can't. <laughs> Christmas Day without them being around just isn't, it's not possible. Mm. Not possible. Mm. So. Absolutely. So, guys, I just want to say that if you haven't already purchased my sister's uh, uh, card, I'm sharing the link again. Um, Thank you. DJ Blackman says Italy is having total lockdown on 24th December. This pandemic has destroyed a lot of plans. It certainly has. And, you know, especially around Christmas, it's supposed to be just a family time, you know, for get together, eat together, break bread together, have a conversation about what's happened. Um, over the last couple of months, you know, it's just a time to get together and now it's just been broken into pieces and you don't even know how to put it back. And that is really, really sad that Italy is going on a lockdown on the 24th, Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve. Um, it's, the last, really it's the last minute-ness. Mm -hmm. So in the UK, we were told we can do Christmas and then after Christmas they'll review but then at the last minute you're saying we can't so everyone's buying and buying food ready for the big family get together and now you're saying we can't have it it's hmm. the last minute hmm. it's the last minute business that's what's painful, that's what's painful. guys go on the website that I've just put up it's an Etsy um, and go and grab a Christmas card um it's it's christmas cards it's what thank you cards christmas cards birthday cards congratulations baby cards it's all there okay and it's cards. okay and vows day cards Vals are coming cards. pretty yes. soon as well yeah. so guys yeah. let's get purchasing let's support our own i've bought um, a few cards my children yeah. love it they sent me a really nice message about mommy our cards are really different we love it our friends all love it um, so that's really, really positive. Buy something different um, that's unique, that's just will stand out, um, that people will really, really um, appreciate. Um, but guys, thank you so much for joining me on tonight's show. I know that all of you have contributed a lot. Thank you to Trinity, DJ, Christina, True Life Story, Pia, um, George, everybody that joined the conversation at Peace. Um, ML, um, Felix, everybody that um, joined the conversation today, really, really appreciate. Um, we hope that you're going to go out there. Um, what's say, Suleiman? Let me see. After Xmas, we will go into another lockdown. Trust me, this is only the start until the vaccination starts. I kind of agree with that. I think there's going to be all this lockdown, 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 lockdown. And they'll say, look, no more lockdown if you take the vaccine. <laughs> That's exactly what they're going to say. Um, P says, I am in Puerto Rico and they have 24 hours lockdown every Sunday and curfews of 8.30 wow. every night. There are also no tourists here. Wow. Every wow. Sunday. Wow. Every Sunday there's a lockdown. Every, at least you know that kind of a norm. And yeah. you kind of brace yourself to it. Where UK, Boris is like, yeah, from midnight. And you're just like, what? You're giving me three hours, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. to sort myself out. If I've got no shopping in my house, if I've got nothing, how am I supposed to? And what I found actually is that when I was in London, 
people weren't wearing masks really. I didn't see a lot of people wearing masks. Um, I felt like there was a lot of people still walking around, like it, everything was okay. Mm. Um, so I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know whether you care really, really taking yeah, it seriously. It's, it's crazy. I think some people I came across. I was on public transport. And the bus driver tried to like wear your mask, wear your mask, and the person just was like, "I'm exempt," and walked on. Wow, was like, "I'm exempt," showed nothing, and just was like, uh -huh. <laughs> "Like uh, hello." So people are really trying to adhere to these rules, but you've got people just. I know we talk about you know the conspiracies and stuff, but when people are trying to put something in place it's that people there's others making it really difficult and challenging um yeah. it makes it definitely hard absolutely. absolutely oh true life says i'm buying your cards now have a happy day family oh true life thank you so much you're always very supportive we really appreciate you for supporting um chrissy and her cards and her business um, whatever cards that you are buying, you're investing in her and you're investing in her business. So thank you very much for doing that. Um, okay, let's see. Um, they use soldiers to enforce the lockdown. Puerto Rico's numbers are very, very low. Okay, so they used, okay. They used a different strategy. Um, are you comfortable wearing a mask? You wear masks, Chrissy. How do you feel when I you do. wear the mask? I always wear mask, and because of the work I do, I'm always wearing a mask as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's now I'm used to it. At the beginning, I was just like, oh, I can't, I just can't. Um, but I've got very used to just putting it on. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do wear them constantly. Okay. Now. All right. So again, guys, go on the website. Less purchase, less support. Um, the cards are beautifully made um, with love, with lots of love. With so love, love, blessings, love and blessings, each card. Yes, love and blessings. Let's support Chrissy in her business. Um, let's sow her a seed. Um, and make sure that you share her page. When you've bought it, share it with another person. Maybe they'll love to buy it as well. So, Chrissy, thank you so much for joining me on this late night chat. Late night chat. <laughs> That's my best but it's your case. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Um, it was a really good, just nice, re nice chat, really. Um, yeah, it was a really good chat, and um, thank you for joining me. And hopefully, I will see you soon. Miss you. Love you. Bye. Oh, uh, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed the show. Please keep on wearing your mask. Please social distance as much as possible and please keep those hands clean. Um, use the hand sanitizers when you need to um, and just be your, you know, sister's keeper, your brother's keeper. Um, let's keep safe as much as possible. Even though we talk about COVID, there are a lot of people still dying um, of COVID. I've heard of a lot of cases of friends that I know that have died of COVID. And so we must make sure that at all times, guys, at all times, we are keeping safe. Um, and um, before I go again, I want to say a big thank you to Prodigy for her shit all. And she's got jollof seasoning as well. Guys, go out there and purchase. Then Vesta London Beauty for her lip glaze. Uh, oh, my God. And she's got this new packaging. I've left it in the room, but tomorrow when I come back on live, I will show you her new packaging and her new branding. But this lip glaze, guys, you need to go and get it. It is amazing. Again, made with love. So we need to support um, black businesses. And guys, if you're looking for investment opportunities in Ghana, um, go to Odana Connect, guys, um, and register. Really, really good platform. We're going to be launching hopefully, if not the end of this month in January. It's taken us a long time. I keep saying every single time I come on, but we just want to make sure that we get the platform right before we launch. So make sure that you subscribe now. Big thank you to World Remit for sponsoring the show as always. Guys, send money via World Remit by going on the website. It's easy, it's fast, and it's simple. Um, and again, if you haven't already bought Princess Aria Shea Butter, 
Um, the shea butter smells good. We have vanilla flavor and we have peach flavor. It smells so, so good. Thank you um, so much. Actually, a lot of people in the US have been buying the product, um, which is great. We have some people in the U um, UK as well and now from Europe. So thank you all for your support that you're showing my daughter. She really, really appreciates it. Um, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for always watching the show. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to bring you another guest where we just, you know, chit chat about life, chit chat about what we're going through and how we are dealing with it. If you are in Ghana, I'm having a Dear Denta show, um, which is going to be on the 30th of December. I want you all to join me. If you can't join in real life, you can join via Zoom. Um, and join the conversation. It's going to be a really good one. Thank you all for watching. I love you so much. Thank you. God bless you. God protect you. Bye-bye.